Good evening and thanks for watching K Texas News at 6 tonight. I'm Will Jensen and I'm Farrah Walton terrorized. That's how many people in a South Abilene neighborhood describe life on Chestnut Street. The suspect in a home arson early Tuesday is now behind bars and it's far from the first time. K Texas reporter Tyler Green has been speaking with neighbors and why they say they're sleeping better tonight. I feel at peace. Happy and much more comfortable in our neighborhood. Dawn Fullerton lives near where this house burned down early Tuesday morning. She says the suspect, Jay Pace, is well known in the area. We went to the Taylor County Jail to speak with Pace, but he did not want to talk. However, some neighbors say his criminal background speaks volumes. Pace has been in and out of jail for the last 15 years, ranging from small time crimes to major crimes like assault to now arson. In total, 17 arrests. With a long history of crime, neighbors tell us Pace and his associates made them uneasy. But now that he's behind bars, they can breathe a sigh of relief. You don't want to be out and about in your neighborhood when those people are traipsing around. And now uh, we can breathe. My husband and I slept last night and it was wonderful. And with Pace facing a second degree felony charge for arson, that could mean up to 20 years in prison. Fullerton says hope is now on the horizon. We are really looking forward to having our grandchildren over and taking a walk with them around our neighborhood or uh, playing a game of basketball out in the street just right there, you know. Um, <laughs> even simple things like getting our mail. We don't have to, to look around and make sure it's a safe time to do that. So it's going to be good. In Abilene, I'm Tyler Green, K Texas News. Tyler, thank you. And police say he confessed to setting the home on fire. He listed his address as living across the street, but police say he was living in the house that burned down. Pace is being held at the Taylor County Jail on a $75,000 bond. 